when was over. Ask out the Christmas colors. Today, we're talking about the spirit of giving and receiving. Something that I have came across some people that don't understand it. And if you're one of them, I'm not hounding, get it, hey, hounding on you, or talking down on you for how you feel about things, but I wanted to talk to you a little bit so you, you, you understand how how this is confusing to me, okay? You, yeah, yeah, Christmas is coming, and a lot of people, oh no, not again, I can't stand this season, it's so stressful. Then others are all like, Yay! Yay! Oh, see the poor, see the poor. <sighs> The stores have warned us since before Halloween. So, here we are. And I have, you know, I've had family that has said this. I've had friends that has said this. Where they ask you what you want for Christmas, and then they turn around and say, oh, you don't have to give me nothing. What? The spirit of giving and receiving is wrapped into one, okay? And you may not realize it, but when you say something like that, when you say, hey, what do you want for Christmas? And then you, you, you I, I, I don't know. Um, uh, and you had to think about it. You know, you tell them, and it's like, okay, yeah, what do you want? And then they go, oh, you ain't gonna give me nothing. Oh, you got those little stubborn ones. I don't want nothing. Nope. Don't you dare. You may not realize it. But you have just ruined their spirit of giving. Now I know giving is better than receiving. And it's in the saying, giving is better than receiving. But to give, one has to receive. Okay? Don't be afraid to receive something. Just, just don't be this tightwad that just says, gimme, 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 gimme. And doesn't know the spirit of giving himself. It's all receive, receive, receive. Don't be just one side of it. But uh, don't be afraid to receive anything. And uh, if you're one of these people that think giving is expensive and you're gonna spend a lot of money, no, no. Make something. Draw something. You don't have to go to Hallmark to get a card when you can make it yourself. And those are really cool. Like uh, Ziggy wanted me to show you this last, I think it was last year? Last year, I think it was. This was made by a friend of his. Didn't go to the store to buy it. It's handmade. And it scared the crap out of me because I didn't know she did this, but it's got 
glow-in-the-dark paint. And I woke up one night, and this thing was glowing in the room. And I woke up, and I thought it was a ghost of Christmas, whatever. I was like, hey, hey, hey. turn the light on, and it's this thing. She got to laugh. Hey, you got the dog party, you did. Hey. But it's cool, you know. Special Christmas edition. She autographed it and stuff. And for her to make this and give it to Ziggy, she put a lot of work in this thing. And it's been in our family for a year now. And again, this year, we'd like to thank you for this. It's very special. The spirit of giving and then receiving such an item creates a bond between two people. It's magic, really. And it goes a long way. People, I believe the people that say that Christmas is just a, is commercialized and it's just a money maker and there's no, there's no meaning behind it anymore because meanings like this have stopped. No one's taking the time to make the magic happen. I love this. This is, this. This is beautiful. It's never going to go away. Ever. So, that's all I wanted to say you know, today. So, this year... Don't be afraid to give, you know, from the heart, not from your wallet or your purse. And never be afraid to receive. You got to give a hug to receive a hug, right? You're never going to find me going, oh, you ain't got to give me no hugs. Nope. <laughs> you know I love the hugs. <laughs> But uh, I'll end it here, make this a short one, until next Fursuit Friday, this is the Dog Father Al Cabone, saying I love you, you matter, and have a good night. <laughs> uh, uh, uh.